Hi, this is Phil, Dirty Drive Away. So, as promised in my uh, previous video that I did on my new Fausch Point Speed 5, um, I'm here on this big job that I'm starting today. And uh, the Fausch Point Speed is down here ready to go. I've got quite a large area. I've got one, two, three, about four driveways and a big old access road and a little bit of a car park area around the side, I'll show you in a minute. So we have down here the Point Speed 5 ready to go. I have used this already and I'm quite impressed. I'm hoping to uh, be able to tear through quite a lot of this today. I will hook up another camera uh, in a bit on the end of the lance um, so you get like a first person view of what the tool can do. Obviously it may be a bit juddering, a bit shaky, because it is going to be attached to the lance. Um, and obviously if I can later on, I will try and set the camera up on a mini tripod, perhaps against this gate here. Um, my main tripod, unfortunately, I couldn't find. I think it's tucked away somewhere in the house. We're having some work done, so the missus has, uh, has hidden it away. So if I can uh, get my little mini tripod attached to this fence here, you should be able to see what it's doing in, in uh in some real-time action so we're all hooked up just switch it on we are ready to roll right this is a different camera it's not my GoPro it's a different camera so I'm not too sure what the quality of the video is going to come out like so here goes There you go. Not too sure how long that took me. Two minutes that video was. I've already covered about four square meters. I'll keep it going for a few more minutes for you.
So there we go. This thing is very quick, very efficient at what it does. Absolutely tears through this, I would say this block paved driveway here. I'm not exactly sure how big it is, um, but I'd imagine I could rip through this probably in about an hour with this nozzle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, switch this off from first person. It obviously gets a little bit shaky. I'm gonna try and hook it up to the uh, side of the, uh, the fence uh, and see how we get on.
Okay, so as you can see, the Fausch Point Speed 5 really tears through this uh, block paved driveway. As you can see from me, you get absolutely covered in crap. Um, that's the only downside to obviously using this nozzle. It's very, very high powered. It creates a lot of spray, a lot of mess. Do wear some good quality safety glasses because um, you will need them, you'll get covered in muck. As you can see from the driveway, um, contrary to popular belief, you know, a lot of people think that you lose a lot of sand when cleaning these driveways. You don't, as you can see behind me, you know, that's about the, 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 the amount of sand that you're going to lose. Um, if you was laying this driveway, you'll be using loads and loads and loads of sand to, when you come to re-sand it. Um, you, you're, you're losing a very, very tiny amount of sand when you're cleaning. You shouldn't be losing all of your sand. If you're losing all your sand, you're going too, too hard on it and you're going at a too steep angle. So you want to keep it around 45 degrees. Unless you get lots of weeds and moss, you can hit it a little bit higher up. But keeping it about 45 degrees, you'll find that you'll, you'll just blow a very, very small amount of sand off the top of the surface. And you shouldn't be losing any more than this amount of sand. I'm going to stop now because obviously I'm getting very, very close to the camera. Uh, and it is my phone, so I don't want to end up with grit and stuff inside it. So I'm going to stop, I'm going to uh, finish cleaning off this bit here, sweep up all the muck, bag it up and then continue with the rest of my job. I'll check in with you later so you can see how I'm doing. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, I know it's a little bit long, um, you, you're going to see some more a little bit later but I'm going to switch off now. I hope you enjoyed this bit, uh, a lot of people have been asking for a longer video on um, cleaning driveways, well I hope this uh, reach your expectations. I think it's been going for about 35-40 minutes so it's going to be quite a long one. If I can, uh, in editing I will speed the video up so you can see it in a little bit faster rather than sitting there boring you to death cleaning this uh, driveway. So uh, yeah, any comments or questions leave them below and um, I'm going to be carrying on uh, doing the rest of this massive job that I've got on today. See you later, bye for now.
Okay, last part of the video. The job is finished. Just show you what I've done. So there's that driveway there. Pan round this access path, access road. So we go down here. I've got a pathway there. A two car driveway there to the left. From here down to my van, it's about 30 meters. Yeah, sorry, sorry, from the top of the um, driveway at the top down to the van is about 30 metres. All the way down here, another sort of two slash three car driveway there. Pan round this side. We've got a garage with a space there. Area there, another garage there. Keep coming down. It's another two car driveway just there. All the way down to the gates at the end. There's a pathway just there to the front door of a house. And then up here. Just outside these gates. And a small access area just here down to the cobbles. So all of this has been cleaned and sanded in total. Looking up, it's about 800 square meters. Let's just go to the gates. So yeah. So 13 bags of sand later, sorry, 13. Yeah, about 13 bags later. Uh, so what's that? It's about 275 kilos of sand. So yeah, there we go. All done. In total, it's taken me, well I originally allocated six days to this job. And uh, that was basically, I was giving it uh, what four days to clean and then two days to sand um, using my new point speed five I knocked the clean down to about two and a half days and this sanding has taken me um, I mean what is I say two days it's two working days but not two full days so um, ten, probably taken me about nine hours in total to sand this 800 square meter area uh, I got here this morning about 10 and it's now half past two and I also done some yesterday um, so yeah in total it's a uh, I think it's about nine hours something like that give or take so that's it this is the area I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what this new tool can look at, can do, look at, can do. Any comments, questions, um, any help you need, drop them in the in the box below. And uh, I'll uh, I'll reply to them as soon as I can. I know the video is going to be long because obviously there's a lot of cleaning involved. Um, but a lot of you you subscribers out there, you asked for a longer video, and uh, I hope this is delivered. Anyway, that's all from me. My arms are killing me. Happy cleaning. Bye for now.